we think that the next step in the technological development is really 3D audio. We have now in cinemas 3D video, but the audio is not really as developed as the video. And uh, with these systems that we have here, we really try to recreate the best possible 3D audio experience that one can have. Now they are still at early development stage, but we hope that in a few years' time they will become available for everybody. This is the anechoic chamber. The ane it's called anechoic, it's a Greek word, it means without echo. As you can see, it's full of wedges, and these we wedges of absorbing material do absorb all the energy that's carried with the sound wave, so that it's not bounced back and does not interfere with the measurements. It's a very, very strange room in a way. In the, this sphere, we have 40 loudspeakers. These are all individual units, each of them generates a sound field that is more or less modeled as a simple monopole source. Now these 40 sound fields inter interfere here in the interior of the sphere, generating a pattern of destructive and constructive acoustical interferences. And if we control the loudspeaker in a clever way, we can recreate and synthesize any arbitrary sound field, which we then measure with this array of microphones. At the end, we try to recreate the perfect 3D sound. The mannequin is really um, a microphone array, if you like. It uh, has the shape of a human head, but has microphones located in the ears. This is used for so-called binaural recording. If you then manage to reproduce the sound recording with that mannequin exactly at the ear of the listener, you have another means to reproduce 3D audio. We like to think that uh, at the Institute of Sound and Vibration Research we are uh, doing cutting-edge research in this field and we are among the key players in this research. We collaborate with a large number of uh, big players in the uh, telecommunication market, such as, for example, as said, BBC, Electronic and Telecommunication Research Institute in Korea. We've been working with Samsung and many other companies. Very often people think that audio is a very simple science, if science at all, uh, but as a matter of fact, is an understanding sound fields, understanding the physics of acoustics, is an extremely complex science, and uh, the underlying mathematics is absolutely fascinating and complex. When you go to cinemas or so, really what you have uh, is, is a feeling of the sound source being distributed more, more or less in the horizontal plane or so, but you don't really have a feeling of distance, you don't have really yet a feeling of elevation. Hopefully in the future we will have the chance of positioning sound sources pretty much everywhere in the space, everywhere above you, behind you, close to you. This is what we want to achieve, thus providing a feeling of immersive sound fields. 3D audio in cinema is one very important application probably and I hope that this big experiment will be then scaled down to smaller form factor and it can be used in a domestic audio system like domestic surround sound system but hopefully even smaller smaller scale and used in laptops for example tablets maybe mobiles I think that the atmosphere here at the Institute of Sound and Vibration Research to carry out this kind of research is absolutely amazing. Here we have people that work in all different kind of uh, science related to acoustics and audio is for sure an important one. We have received a lot of support from all the university to carry out our research. There are not many places in the world that have these facilities and can really afford to do such big scale experiments as here. So we, what we really try to do is to attract the best people in the world in order to carry out this research and carry on being one of the leading research institutions that work on audio technologies. It would make us feeling absolutely uh, proud if the technologies that we are developing here will be then used in the cinemas and we can then all enjoy a much better experience because of research that we have done here. <laughs>